One might think the natural progression of building a shed slash workshop after putting on the subfloor would be to start on the walls. If you are using a rafter system for your roof, then I would tend to agree with that sentiment. However, if you are using site-built trusses, then we're going to want to start the measure and layout process for those. The framed floor is going to become the jig that I use to put my trusses together, and the first thing that I want to do is find the apex of my truss. So I'm going to measure the width of my building, which happens to be 143 inches. Alright, so then I want to find the center point of my building. So 143 divided by 2 is 71.5. So I'm going to measure over 71.5. And set a mark. Now I'm going to take that measurement. I'm going to transfer it. Okay. Then I'm going to transfer that measurement up here. Okay. And then I want to take this measurement and I want to transfer it up. How far up? is the question that I need to find the answer to. So I've got the center point of my building, 71.5. I take that number and multiply it by the pitch of my roof. In my case, I'm using a 412 pitch, so times four. Then I divide that by 12, which gives me 23 and 13 sixteenths. So I transfer the mark I made earlier up 23 and 13 sixteenths inches from the edge of my building. That is the apex of my trusses. Then I can set some stop blocks at an 18.4 degree angle at the apex. How do I know what angle to set the stop blocks at, you ask? Well, anyone that's been in construction will probably be able to tell you that number. 412 pitch is 18.4, a 512 is 22.6, and a 1212 is 45 degrees. So on, so forth. After I find and mark the crowns on all my boards, I'm gonna mark for my first 412 cut for all my top cords. Remaining this is my pivot. This is my common scale. I'm using a 412 pitch. So I'm gonna pivot it until I get the four lined up with the top of the board. I am going to cut all these freehand. If you're new to this or unsure of yourself, you can set up a miter saw station to make sure you get this part right. And those will fit together like so. Now I can mark and cut the angle for my bottom cords. 18.4 degrees. This is my waist. I have a video on how to cut boards to length with angles. You can check that video out if you want to know how I'm cutting these bottom cords to length with extreme accuracy. I am taking the width of my building and adding my siding to that number. This is my cutoff. Now I can dry fit my top and bottom cords to make sure I like what I see. I'm going to use this first one I cut as a template for all the rest of my boards. So, top cord, and top cord. Make sure those line up on the mark the way that they're supposed to. Then, the bottom cord. Set my king post in place.
some construction adhesive. During the dry fit, I can also measure and cut all of my gusset plates as well. Things from here are pretty self-explanatory. Once I get all my trusses assembled, I will set them aside and get to work on wall framing. And that is where things really start to take shape. Hey, thanks for watching. Check me out at simplyeasydiy.com. Subscribe if you haven't, and like if you like.